Hey everybody, Ghost Fox here. Today we're having a look at a new gaming headset from Saves. This is the A8 gaming headset, and uh, here is a look at the box for this headset. And uh, there's actually quite a bit to talk about um, on this particular model. They have added a lot of features to it. So uh, not only does this gaming headset, which we have a look at here, uh, it's got a new design to it. It also has added features, uh, including it is USB run and powered. The drivers and customization software are provided on a disc in the box. So you just install that and uh, there, it's very similar software to some of the other headphones that I've looked at where you can set up things like virtual surround sound, voice changing, as well as equalizing and all kinds of other options to it. Um, so this is a virtual surround sound headset. It does have the 7.1 virtual surround sound. There are not seven speakers in here uh, or even six. It actually just kind of simulates that. But like the other products, it does a decent job at simulating it. Now, I would say this is in the sort of, you know, mid-range capability of simulating that full 3D surround effect. There are some headphones that do the sur virtual surround better, but those are also a lot more expensive. In terms of price point, this is only about a $35 headset. So for the features, including that virtual surround sound, this actually offers quite a bit. Now, where it does um, save on some of that money is in the construction. It's very, very simple. It's very lightweight, but um, there isn't a whole lot to these uh, this headset. Uh, it is LED lit but it's simply a pulsing orange light there. You can see coming on and off with the little Saves logo there on each of the ear cups. The microphone is not really movable. Um, it is bendable, but it doesn't retract. But, you know, honestly, that's not really that big of a deal unless you're going to use these as standard headphones. You typically don't necessarily need your microphone to just go away. Uh, but if you do, this unfortunately does not offer that. It does bend around, so you can set it, you know, pretty much kind of wherever you would want and prefer. But uh, it's, it's not completely customizable. The ear cups on this, um, they are soft. They're sort of that faux leather. But they're also rather shallow. So if your ears stick out quite a bit, even my ears do tend to kind of rub, a, or not rub, but press a little bit against the uh, inner part of the speaker cup here. So uh, over a long period of time, if your ears stick out a lot, that may become uncomfortable because these are not the deepest of ear cups. But if you have standard ears, it's, it's not really a big deal. These ear cups are kind of nice because they also do move around and twist like this. So you can get a pretty good fit. And these would work even on the largest of heads. The headband is pretty comfortable and this expands quite a bit. Uh, it does not extend, but rather expands. And then this, stretches to fit your head size. So that's kind of the, the custom fit going on there. As far as the sound quality, it's definitely very good. It's not the best sound quality that I've heard out of a headset, but as far as a $35 headset, it actually has outstanding sound quality uh, as far as those are concerned. This definitely does more. And uh, it has a good low range and you still get clear mids and highs. So you're not really losing out on anything like explosions or talking or music and effects in your games. Speaking of explosions, not only does this headset feature 7.1 surround sound, but it also features bass enhancement and vibration. So uh, this is another one of the, the newer products this year that has that option. And it is controlled on the um, inline controls here, which not only have volume as well as the microphone mute, but this last button here allows you to, uh, there are three levels of uh, bass and vibration. Uh, well, there's off, but then also you have low and you have high. So depending on whether or not you're liking the vibration or if you want more or less of it, you can turn that on. Having it completely off does suppress a little bit of the low frequency, i.e. bass, explosions, gunfire. But you do have that low setting, which kicks it up a little and then offers some vibration uh, on the headset for you know a little more immersion, honestly. 
or you can turn it all the way up and it really does vibrate. I mean, it, it vibrates pretty hard. And honestly, I would recommend being a little careful with that because with the enhanced bass comes a lot of extra vibration in that ear cup. And you could really you give yourself an earache for one or, or straight up hurt your hearing if you're listening to that too loud. Um, so just kind of, you know, use your best judgment on it. It's a nice feature, absolutely, and it can definitely help to add immersion, but definitely something to be careful with. So as far as the sound quality and sound features, this actually offers quite a bit. Uh, the microphone on it is, is good, and the provided software does allow you to set the frequency and quality of the microphone to 48,000 hertz or 48 kilohertz, which is actually very good. That's DVD quality, and it's really hard to find a microphone in a gaming headset that has anything higher than that, honestly. Unless you're talking studio quality, you are not going to get higher than 48 kilohertz. So that's just kind of a fact. As far as the clarity of the microphone, it's very good, and the sound quality is very good, but there is uh, the, the very lightest of um, hums, uh, it, it's not absolute silence because this does not feature any sort of noise isolation uh, codec in it. There's no feature in the software to completely eliminate any background noise. So there is just the faintest. If you're only listening to someone talk and the mic comes on and off, you may notice just uh, the very slightest. The the actual sound wave is pretty flat. I did test this in some sound recording uh, software and it is, a, it is a flat wave, but you can actually hear uh, the faintest of hums uh, when the microphone is active. So it's not perfect. It's very good and the sound quality is very good, but it isn't the perfect microphone. But chances are, especially if you're playing games, no one is going to notice that. Nobody's gonna notice it. And if somebody's like, hey, um, I heard a little bit of a hum, just, just tell them to shut up because they're just being picky. But it's actually, and again, considering the price point, uh, it's, it's actually a really good deal. So they do sacrifice a little bit in terms of the um, manufacturing and design. The LED is always on, it always pulsates. You cannot turn it off in, in any way. Um, it does have a, you know, like I said, mic mute and the vibration control is really nice. And there is some fun stuff you can do in that software. In addition to enhancing the virtual surround sound, it does have a few built-in voice changing options. You can, you know, sound like a girl if you're a guy, sound like uh, a man if you're a woman. Um, and it does a decent job at that. It's got a little high-pitched cartoon voice or like this deep rumbly monster voice. And, and those are just controlled in the uh, software that you install. So you just click a little button and it'll automatically change your voice. You don't really need to uh, do anything else. So if you're just kind of playing around or whatever, there are some fun little tools that come with the provided software. So these are, they're comfortable, they're lightweight. Uh, they're definitely not for everyone, but really for a mid and, and almost low end as far as the price range is concerned, headset, um, these are a really good option. So that is a look at the Sades A8 gaming headset and uh if you like the video let me know give me a little thumbs up or like and uh, of course if you have any questions about the headset i would be happy to answer them and yeah, thanks a lot for watching